Herbomorphosis, our W photo exhibition that depicts the changing face of Addis for posterity. This is the beginning of the exhibition. And then we'll go up the stairs for the main exhibition. Herbomorphosis. I'm nostalgic for a city I know in my thoughts. The city of now is no longer as was. The present has left little to imagine of its past. Whole neighborhoods created and destroyed. Homes, his, her stories crumble with bulldozers, giving rise to high rises. Our meetings, though frequent, are fleeting. I'm yet to acquaint myself with what you've become, to relearn who you were and who I was with you. New flower, I wonder if I'll grow old with you or if you will age with me. Some of the postcards we produced as part of Herbomorphosis. I was here. We wanted to show construction, destruction, the old and the new, the changing city landscape. The people negotiating this change, resisting, adapting, protesting, And like a historian, record what's happening to build our collective memories of what the city was, what it is, and what it will be. During the day, you can see this very well, but across the road is a construction site, ironically enough. We have a few more postcards left. Again, what the city was a few years ago. This is no longer what the city looks like with the light rail completed. Window panes, perspectives of the new flower. People negotiating the change. And again, vantage points. There's construction taking place all around us. We also have a comment book where people have been giving us their feedback, their critique, their comments, suggestions for future exhibitions. We've now entered transport, the light rail, the bus, trucks, Ambassa, which is very iconic, with a new building in the backdrop. Again, something that no longer was. Negotiating of change, paying tribute to those who clean up the mess of the city. And the elderly who are trying to understand all of the changes that are taking place in the city. Who then speaks for the present? It is the stone itself which recalls who participated in its carving, who carried it to a certain place, who kissed it, cooked with it, or killed with it. These Sisyphean laborers, the humblest of us all, carve the stones, inscribe the letters that shape and form our lives and deaths. 
these etceteras of history who build bridges and roads, engrave portraits and statues, erect the stones that mark graves, listen and react to the idioms of the language of stone. Those who labor without authorship attached to their names have left us a virtual dictionary that retains indelible marks and fingerprints of the memories of stone. Professor Tashona Gabriel. And the faces behind the changing ad addis. Those who are mostly invisible to us, but who are literally changing addis. Then we have the contrast between the old and the new, the past, the present, and the future. Can they coexist? present is generally seen as a projection of the future or as an outcome of the past but it is not the case that when the present is finished it is no longer there if we understand the present as constantly existing then the future is in the present and the past also is in the present the stone as the element that is always present in all forms and always changing represents this persistence of the present much more than it does the supposed permanence of the past. And that's it. Our debut exhibition by Nabil Abdel Malik and John Kaninda, Urbomorphosis.